Alright everybody, welcome back to some more Elden Ring. Last we left it off, we killed Mog in the Mogwin uh, dynasty. And was gearing up for the uh, two bosses, uh, one in Syothra River and the other one in uh, Nokron, kind of like just above Nokron. And these bosses are both the same. Uh, there's just two different versions to them. So we're gonna go jump in. We're gonna go do these fights. They're not difficult fights by any means. They're actually beginner uh, level or like early game bosses that you can fight. So nothing uh, too difficult that I'll be worried about. Oh, that's right, the fucking stupid amount of fucking buffing that I'm doing. Wait. Oh, this is why you put grease on, that's right. I don't even think I need to do any kind of buffing. Oh, I forgot to change my bubble tier. I think I have a dex, though, added on, right? Yeah, that's fine. Ancestor Spirit, not a difficult boss by any means. A bit of a weird boss to hit, but yeah, you can see like how much damage I do. I believe there's a grace here I can grab. No? No, no grace. Hm. Okay. Uh, I can just get back to the fucking entrance, I guess. Yeah, okay. Go to the ancestral woods. You can even see that we didn't even get like a lot of uh, like rune from it. I am going to be uh, gearing up for the end game, so after uh, these bosses, I'm pretty much already am in end game. Uh, I'm just kind of putting off killing like one of the last major bosses. So. Okay, come on, let me fucking hit that thing. Enchanted shot. Out of rocks. Another one sucking. Ready to fucking join his sucking family. There we go, Jesus, dude. <laughs> that was a lot. Let me actually do something. I did want to go. As of me doing this recording, the uh, Shadows of the Erd Tree DLC was actually released. So, I guess, I guess uh, I will be coming back to Elden Ring. I'm dying right now.
Amazing I didn't die though. <laughs> Kind of scuffed. I actually started the recording before starting my stream, so I went to just do start my uh, stream on Twitch, and I almost fucking died for it. Good summon here. What does summoning on horseback look like? Huh. Huh. I'll let M mimic here uh, run around, just fucking do shit. Not really. Uh. I'm concerned over what he does. Oh, this one's gonna drop me bad runes. How many takes did it uh, take me to beat Mog again? It was only uh, two tries. Uh, how many more torches are there? One more, two more. I believe it's two more. That's kind of weird that there's uh, this one here. You can't do anything with it. Unless I just kill these guys and then... Shining Horned Headband. Yeah, I don't do anything with this uh, Ancestor Spirit. I'll kill this red wolf. I remember fucking having trouble in the one in Ronnie's area. I'm gonna fucking have the same issues here with this one. Probably because it's got like other wolves right now. But I gotta fucking. Oh, jeez, that. Let me kill this guy. Jump at him. There. <laughs> there is one more torch, and I don't know where it is. Oh, right here. It just looks like a kind of looks like a like a base of a, like an earth tree. Thought like on the map it would uh be at one. That'd be kind of a cool way of showing it. Would probably like get it. Yeah, probably ends or something. Um, something I can do with this guy. I see the other one that's right here.
Nice, man. Nice, nice. I'm so fucking glad that my horse can't fucking jump that. This one's a little bit tougher, but I'm pretty sure that it'll be just as easy as the other one. If I really want to, what I could do is, uh... Do that, because I believe I'll do a bit more fire damage to it. The difference with this one is that this one will spawn in, like, a bunch of, uh... Random, like, or no, this one already has wildlife in its arena, and what this wildlife does is it serves a purpose for. Uh, it because. If I'm too slow. That attack that it's just doing, I don't really think it's an attack, but that will heal it. So all the wildlife in the area basically just kind of gets like soul sucked or I guess, I'm not sure. But that is only 10 minutes into the recording and there is still a lot to do. Do I have any runes? I do. I believe uh, if I go to round table, you know what I'll do is, uh, come here quickly. Don't worry, Mahasid. Can I use this? No, I need 30 strength. This is a, uh, this is a talisman, restores FP upon defeating enemies. This weapon's uh, pretty good because I believe Soul Stifler. The uh, ability is like a debuff. Let me uh, see. I believe I I don't want to be spreading misinformation on the fucking uh, internet. <clears throat> yeah. So it creates a zone where any enemies that are in it gets debuffed. Uh, I'm not sure what the debuff does. I believe this just makes them weaker. So, oh, power straight debuff. Okay, I sure not something I'm gonna use because I'm. I feel like already with the amount of like things I have to try and buff, it's a bit overkill. So I'm gonna be using this. 30k runes. 50k. We use all of these. What do I need? 158k. I look he might just go pay the fucking chicken a visit and Moglin. Speaking of Mogwin, I believe there is an alternative way to get there somewhere in the Consecrated Snowfield. I think there's a cave in here, maybe? I'm not sure, actually, but if you don't talk and do uh, White Mask uh, Ubari's questline, you get, like, there's, like, a teleporter that you can get alternatively that kind of like, puts you in, like, some little cave here. And this would be the first grace that you get in Mogwin, and you'd have to, like, traverse, I guess, all the way here to get to First off the map and the Dynasty Mausoleum entrance. But doing his quest line basically puts you right here and gives you the grace and the mask for basically instant uh instantly free like that. But let me just go if I can pay the chicken a visit. Let me just get one level from it and then we'll go and fight the next boss. Just need to equip a bow.
I think this one had glowing eyes. No, I was wrong. There's another uh, farm here. You come here, you get, you use a weapon art from like the final boss of the game. Uh, off of one of the weapons it dropped, and you're pretty much uh, able to wipe out all these like little frogs. But because I only need to kill like one of these guys. I'll kill another one just to be safe. I'm not like short a couple rooms. I think I was actually short a couple. But I didn't have like a golden room. Maybe that would have been the difference I make or I needed. Who knows? I guess a little bit extra FP doesn't hurt. Alright, back to fucking farm Azula. I want to check something because if you talk to Garank and finish his quest line, there is a uh... more stuff you can do actually. Maybe what bosses carry death root? You gotta remember that because there's a couple of them. Uh, unless there's like only a specific amount for his quest line, and I have to go fucking fetching them all, I'm not gonna bother. Okay. Uh, there's... Uh, I'm not sure lore-wise and shit. Like, who Grank is and all that, but... He does have, uh... Some dialogue that if you finish his questline... Would, uh, play when you do this next boss, and... I'm not actually doing that, because I have to go fucking seeking death roots and... I'm, I'm okay. I'd rather just fucking start dying to him. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna be buffing though for this boss because this is a very, very tricky boss. I guess I can just fucking grease the sword and flame grab me strength right now and then I'll be okay. Beast clergyman. I'm not a fan of this boss. Uh, I've always found this boss like one of the hardest bosses in the game for me. And it's not really the first phase that gets me worried, it's the second phase here.
become my blade once more. This is Malagus, the Black Blade. Who's going to fucking run my fucking shit in, man. I fucking hate this boss. I I hate this boss. I remember seeing some type of fucking like comment or something about this boss and they kinda just said that like Malagus sets the pace for the fight, you don't. And it kinda makes sense. Uh, with Malekith's moveset, he goes in on you and also backs the fuck off from you. Meanwhile, he has attacks varying from all ranges and shit, and there's always one attack that fucking reams my shit in, and I can never fucking... can never have a good time fighting... fighting him. Let's just go in again. That's a weird fucking attack to dodge. I had a really good fucking first phase. From the last attempt. It's actually, uh... Amazing. This is what I mean, he does an attack like that, that fucking gets you with destined death, and I, for the life of me, can never fucking dodge that attack. Never mind. Fuck, man. I'm never, I've never been good at this fucking boss. I've always died on it any fucking playthrough I've done. I don't know if I want to uh, just keep fucking popping rune arcs here. I don't know if it's worth trying to do seppuku. Maybe instead of flame grant me strength. It also might just be worth uh, 
trying to get poison build up on him. That way I can just do some kind of damage over time. And then switch to this one. Oh, I do have Golden Vow. Uh, how long does a Sukuku buff last? Let me just quickly check. I think it's like 45 seconds. Okay, 60. That's not bad. Let's, uh... Hmm. Let's Golden Vow. Oh, he's fucking running at me, bro. That's fucked. I wasn't fucking prepped for it. Let's get my fucking buffs up, dude. Okay, I don't want to fucking play Ring Around the Rosie, dude. I feel like I'm doing more damage already. I don't know why. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Fucking hate this boss. I'm gonna try and do it without summoning though. I wanna try and do this without eating mimic here. Get the second sword. I went uh samurai, so you start off with one of these and then you find one in a cave or tomb. Like I found it at the beginning of the fucking playthrough. So you can, like, for a samurai setup, or you dual wield katanas, if you go samurai, this is basically your starting. Not with, like, the fucking buffs I have on them, but you just run both of these. As for Rivers of Blood, this is, this is only, uh, one in every playthrough, so. No, 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 Rivers of Blood is the only one that you can get once per playthrough. Uh, I like... I feel like I did a lot more damage with this one. Oh my god, dude, I just can't fucking get the fucking... I feel like he's my arrow keys, I feel like. Should fucking healed there. Did I get the poison proc off? Okay, let me back up here. Just want to see if I can get a bit of a breather, maybe. In the beginning, even though this isn't wildly impossible with him. Fucking 
hate this boss, bro. I haven't even gotten a hit off yet, and his poison's run out, actually. I don't even think- I think he lost the poison. Oh my god, I just got that fucking hook. I'm dead. No way I live this. Oh my god, I lived it. I think the poison, I think when we went into second phase, the poison like actually just ran out. You know what I could do? I could, uh, where is it? I do have it. No, I don't. I swear I had fucking rock grease. Okay, wait, what happened to... Okay, let me, uh... Near the base of Erd Tree, so I don't know if I can, like, go to an Erd Tree. Uh... I don't think, like, any of the ones in Caleb will have them, but I want to get raw, uh, fucking grease, because that would definitely prove to be a much better buff than poison. I've just got to fucking find in your bird trees, and that's kind of the issue. Because I'm not sure how it'll work out if I am able to... Ah, uh, shit, I'll remember. Oh my god, bro. Frenzy burst. Let's just see if I can get out of here. Because now all of a sudden, fucking, when I need root resin, I can't find it. Okay, sure. Sure, game. Yeah, I'm not gonna find it, whatever. I'll just fucking stick to getting poison off. Maybe I don't pop a rune arc here, cause eh, no, rune arcs will help. I do need all the fucking stat like benefits it gives. Okay, let's go. Well, since I'm not using any grease to this site, it's gonna be a bit more scuffed. Maybe I just maybe I do flame grant me strength before I go into the fight. 
no, 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 I definitely want to do seppuku out here, actually. Got it's a longer buff. I don't want to fight him near the edge here. Somehow dodge that. That was fucking weird as fuck, but okay. Definitely gonna hit, yeah. Yeah, fucking hate this boss, bro. I can never, never fucking get the hang of this boss and his moveset. I can never read this boss. Like, every boss has, like, that, like, predictable, like, moveset that you can do with Malekith. I can just never understand what he's doing. Especially, like, when he's in that second phase. He's just hopping around in the air and he's just spewing, like, he's just throwing his projectiles and shit. I can never understand what to do. I'm gonna give it, like, I'll give it one more try, and then I'm gonna fucking just use Mimic Tear. That's fucked. I have to fucking pop a fucking health bar after every hit, which is so annoying. Oh my god, dude. Hey. Okay, I'll get caught in that. Sure game. Which fucking pop a heal. Oh, okay, I just didn't fucking pop a health. I didn't pop a health bar. I fucking know I pressed the heal button, but the game just didn't want to give it to me. Oh my god. Yeah. 
Add this right eye. Like my best attempt as well, man. That's a shame. Like, I'm gonna just fucking run mimicked here. It's a cop out, but I fucking hate this boss. I can never fucking do this boss. My first playthrough when I was doing it with the uh, dual katanas, I was doing it with a friend, and like the boss is a fucking pain in the ass. I don't know if I do this. I gotta fucking run away because he's gonna try and cancel my fucking summon. Oh my god, bro. Let me just reduce the goo. I somehow got poisoned proctor. Oh, I guess I have two fucking katanas going off on him. Somehow fucking show it needed. I still think even with Mimic here, like I'm not gonna be able to do it. I can't even get a hit off, dude. I'm dead here. Yep. Oh, I... Even with Mimic here, I, I, like, even with the fucking Mimic here crutch, I just can't do this boss, man. Like, that's the fucking... I despise this boss, man, with a fucking passion. That fucking move where you just fucking, like, all the fucking projectiles fucking come around it when he, like, slams his blade into the ground. You're supposed to go behind him, but, like, on every attempt that I try to get behind him on, I just can't. I'll be popping a rune arcade would have been nice, but... I 
don't think they care to fucking start running at it. Holy shit. Yeah, like I have to somehow get behind him there. Remembrance of the Black Blade. The lands between are shrouded by very dark fate. But the flames will also burn the impenetrable thorns. Farewell, it is said. Elven Lord yet. Welcome to Lanedale, Ashen Capital. Before anything, I'm gonna just... Oh, Malekith does have a grace. Uh, we do get a remembrance for Malekith. Uh, he does give you Malekith's blade, which is like... I believe it is considered to be one of the best weapons in the game. This person's dead. And I'll just grab that, I guess. I could just use it for runes sake, but... Or grabbing runes, but... Whatever. I see. Who are you? Oh. I must be a blacksmith. Let's get smithing. Could you tell me what happened? Why is the round table burning? In ruins. Why does that girl weep for me? Oh. Have I forgotten something of dire importance? 
I don't really think the sucking... It might have actually boosted the uh, scaling, so maybe... Uh... It makes my buff stronger. I'm not sure. Uh, I want to check if I got the uh, items that were down here. I think I can open that now. No, I never did, because I think it was like... I was going to use stone sword keys that I was like low on, and I was like, ah, fuck that. Total of three stone sword keys. To get yourself Crepus's black key crossbow, get some black key bolts, and Assassin's Prayer Book. Which I believe the two prayer books I have, I give them here to Muriel. I believe that's at least one I can do. But now all of uh, the lines between will have these like embers flying or floating about because the whole or tree is set ablaze. Greetings. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us burn. Heresy is not me. All things. Oh, very well. Heresy is all things. So the Assassin's Prayer Book, I believe, is the two black flames? No. That was probably darkness. Assassin Ancient Dragons is probably uh these two things that I would give him the Dragon's Prayer Book. You know, it's said if a famed sculptor when he glimpsed this and as such is Do I have any fucking sins to atone for? No. Now I would do a uh complete like uh build swap for this next boss because of a video I saw, however I'm not going to. Uh Just because I don't really have it in me to go and spec and everything, so I'm gonna just head over to Landale Capital Vash. Malekith Malekith uh, doesn't have a uh, like great rune or anything, so. Now there is a way down below here, uh, you gotta kind of be a bit careful how you drop in, but when I did come through here into the uh, subterranean shunning grounds, I did mention this medallion that could be found and there it is, it's just a crimson amber medallion that gives you more max HP. Like if I get rid of this and equip it. That's all you get. Which I mean is still quite a bit. But I mean realistically it, I don't I don't really see the benefit in using it. Um Now, Lane, the capital of Ash has, like, nothing of value. There's not really, like, any items or anything, I believe, lurking about. I could be wrong if there are, I'll run through them in the next part, but there's, like, nothing here. It's just really the next boss that I'm going to go and have a nice little chit-chat with. I think for the sake of this, I'll let the, uh, the circum for the circumstances to play through, I'll let what happens here play through. Usually most people in this next boss, they just run at the boss and start attacking. Because you get a huge fucking window of opportunity to attack this boss.
to stand before the Elven Ring, to become Elven Lord. What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas, none shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us, that we continue to struggle. Unto eternity. Like, Gideon is a stupid boss, as you can see damage-wise. And, uh, he actually, I believe, gets stronger with, uh, every, uh, like, major boss that you kill. So, like, if you kill Melania, he will actually do the Scarlet Aeonia. As you can see there, he does mogs, like... Oh, uh, as you can see, yeah, he's doing the fucking Scarlet Aeonia. Oh, there's a second tank for that. Get tipped by that. Oh, I'm gonna get this one up. Yeah. You fought well until now. Eh. I'll kill Gideon and then on this part. He gets stronger with uh, every like major boss that you kill because you can start spamming different spells, and that's kind of like the whole point of why Gideon's a stupid boss is why is the fact that he just spams spells at you like non stop. But I don't really care. You can you can run up on him and fucking get some extra damage if you want. It'll start the fight early while he's still doing his monologue, but i uh, just like whatever. I'll just run at him and start the fight. Oh my god, dude. You thought, well, I thought it was only three that he does, but... I guess not. Well, I got my runes. That's what I was trying to like, look you go for. He has one potion. So he gets basically one free heal. In the, uh, in the fight. And... After that... So, pretty much... Pretty much, uh... Squishy boss. That is the wrong one. This is from fucking Rikard, right? The skulls. Get Gideon's armor and I believe a staff. 
Which, I'm not sure if, if it's the best staff in the game, but... It's a staff, I guess. Um, I know, before I got into stuff, I believe people... I saw a video, it's a very interesting video of someone saying, uh... Like, talking about why Gideon was, like, the true final boss of the game, or the real villain of Elden Ring, and it was because of the fact that, um... Uh, it was like because of the fact that he knows all these things about you killing these bosses uh, Yet you don't actually have to tell him you've killed these bosses Like if I wanted to I didn't have to tell him I killed Mog. I didn't kill Melania. I didn't kill all these like other bosses, right? But he will still brandish their spells and shit and it's kind of like, you know How does he do it? How does he know? And, obviously plays to the part of him being the all-knowing and I think it's kind of a uh, cool it was like a cool theory that I saw and it kind of makes sense but I remember people were saying like that this next boss we're gonna fight because people are saying uh, I believe in the video it was saying that Gideon was actually here to take the uh, Elden Ring for himself and become Elden Lord and Realistically, there's one more boss in front of us who is also guided by Grace. And Gideon supposedly, quote unquote, supposedly doesn't know about the fact that this boss in front of us is here. So Gideon was waiting for us to kill us. And it's, it was a cool lore video. If I can find, the, uh, find it again, I'll leave a link to it in the description and in the comments. If you want to watch it, it's a pretty interesting video. So. Yeah. Anyways, we have no rune arcs. That's fine. <laughs> 